had a baby and she put her baby in a cradle board and she heard sheep and then certain times she comes back and checks on the baby. So she was weary all the time and she was sitting under a tree watching her sheep and then all of a sudden the breeze came and she heard something whisper and she looked around. There was nothing, nobody. And you know how they dress up traditional? They have those long skirts. She was sitting there under the tree. And then all of a sudden, two of these dropped on her skirt. And the wind told her to put it on a string and put it on the baby's wrist. And that will protect the baby. What you read. So that's how the speech became a necklace like this. And um, I was relocated in 1976, uh, around 76 or 70. Oh, in 78, I think it was. I, um, uh, the BIA yeah. told me that if I give up my land for the rest of my days, that um, they would give me a real nice home and for the rest of my days that they were going to help me remodel my house every year which uh, never happened to the people up to this day. They were, their house were never remodeled. So we used to live all in one area, big area, all my uncles and aunts and great grandmas and grandpas. And in those days, I didn't even know um, death met until that year when the relocation came and all the people, the old people that we had, the medicine lady and the medicine man, uh, within two years they had, they were all gone because of the, the worries that they had, that they were going to be relocated and they didn't know they were going to a strange place, I guess, and they were worried, and they just um, died from that. And a lot of my people um, was sent to, they, they call it New Land, and it's Sand, Sanders, Arizona. They were all relocated out that way, and you seen the the tape in there, that was the worst part, that the uranium loss and all these kids were born with birth defects there. Um, all my relatives were sent out there and up to this, from that day on, up to this day, a lot of them had died from stomach cancer and brain cancer. Those two took them and kidney and um, so it's 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 really sad to be relocated um, the government the BIA say that it's the Hopi that's doing it but actually it's the BIA that's doing it the Hopis the Hopis their name were just used there, they said, this is the Hopi land now, so we can get all the coal we can we want. We can get all the coal we want. The Hopis, they said, it's on their land, they said, it's okay. So that's the kind of agreement that they had. But so much percent of that money that was um, for the coal, so much percent went, went to our, our tribal, president and uh, 
we never uh, seen not even one sense from him because um, we was without electricity and water for a long time. I got the electricity just two years ago. All these years uh, we lived in where there was no light. All these poles that are here that are lighted two years ago that was the first one, the first light was turned on. And uh, the water um, we, the water we had it for a while the running water we had that one for for um, maybe 30 years but electricity we had to wait a long time so um, this um, BIA did a lot of um, damage on both sides the Navajos and the Hopis just for um, coal just for coal all that coal uh, from Black Mesa all the way down to Nevada, it's running underneath the ground. And they used it a lot of our good water to flush it down that way. So like I was telling you, a man that came from California and he was shot how we live, how we were trying to build, rebuild our house for 42 years, they wouldn't let us rebuild our house. So, and then after the Bennett Freeze lift, Obama lifted, and after that, um, still there was no fun that came in for us. We're not the only one that's having all those problems. The Hopis are having the same problem. The Hopis didn't have a government for the past two years. They were just fighting one one another. From different village, they were just throwing words at each other. Our own Navajo people that have higher degree, like um, a man named Peterson Law. We wanted to stay as a Navajo, but he changed it to Dene. Dene is what he changed it to. And we didn't like it. We wanted to stay as a Navajo. Then he says, the Navajo words is an ugly word. So this one was when they did the lawn walk, I guess the Hispanic, Spanish people from Mexico. Navajo means a thief. So that was, that's how we was named. We were thief. So this man, he has higher education. He's the one that wanted to do away with the Navajo name and put the neck in there. In our traditional, the ne means man. A son means woman. So we said, how can we be the ne if we're a woman? We are a son. That's what we said. But still, they are, a lot of them, they agree and they went along with the ne. That's where they changed the name. So that's what happened. This, this, um, uh, and then up to the, this, this grassroots people, we get together. Us grassroots people were just like dogs barking. We, even though if we bark real loud, they still don't catch on. So uh, us grassroots people, we don't like a lot of things that's going on in the Navajo way. So we say we want it this way and we um, sign up a petition and then it goes in, in front of the president and then he denies it. 
Then he says, these people, these, these, these grassroots people, these forgotten people, they're just stirring a lot of problem and a lot of trouble for us Navajo. So that's the reason why they don't like us. But we just ignore them and we just keep going. So that's what's going on today. A lot of things are changing because of the forgotten people making noise. They promised to take care of us. Never happened. So up to this day, all the people's homes are old and damaged. And this one, this part right here, came in and nobody wanted to help me. So I just went and just yanked the whole thing down and I tore down the whole fence and, and just put it away for a while. Maybe that way somebody will realize and help me to rebuild. That's what I thought to myself. As I was using it and taking it from I just thought to myself, this is what my people went through. It really hurts. It hurt me for a long, long time. I cried for a long time. Same with, same way with boarding school. I was never treated the way I wanted to be treated. A lot of people went through a lot this life. They're afraid to go out and tell somebody. They keep it to themselves and they just die with it. That's what happened. That's what's going on. I gave a girl a ride in the wake.